What is the best DAW? Now, I mean, this is gonna really kind of um, create some debate in the comments section, but in all honesty, um, I would say the best DAW is the one that you know the best. And that kind of is the answer. For me, the best DAW is Pro Tools. And that is because it works seamlessly with my Avid S4. Um, it's brilliant for Atmos. Um, it works perfectly. And it, to me, is a superior door to all other doors. Um, but that's not to say that it's the best door for like production. For mixing, for mastering, for me, it's the best. And I will never, you know, look, in all honesty, Pro Tools is an absolute rip-off. I pay £80 per studio, per month. You know, that is, that's a lot of dough. Um, from a business perspective, it's not. But, f you know, if you were, if you're, if you're an artist and you're, you know, spending £80 a month just on your DAW, that's, that's, that's a lot of dough really um you're talking like what 600 wait what is that a month uh, a year that's like 800 that's like a grand that's nearly a grand 960 pound a year that's um that's a lot of money and like i've got three studios running pro tools ultimate so and then i've got a, a, a laptop at home that's got a uh, pro tools artist i think it is on there so you know my my outlay for um for pro tools is probably per month in the region of about four hundred pound per month, and that is that is ridiculous. From a business perspective, though, like I say, is it it's it is what it is, and it doesn't really kind of touch the sides. But um, for me, is regardless of how much it costs, if they put the price up to two hundred pound per month. Uh, so be it i've got to pay it it has to be paid you're kind of almost like the, it, you kind of sucked into this ecosystem where you can't now get out i know pro tools so well that it's, it would be very difficult I, I wouldn't i just wouldn't be able to get out of it because the avid s4 runs so seamlessly with it and uh, the avid mtrx runs so seamlessly it's just like it would be very difficult for me to move away from it but you know, I've got I've got things like I've got Logic, you know, 179 pound, and never again have to pay. Um, <laughs> it's mental to think that I'm paying. Uh, I could move over to Logic, but to me, Logic is an inferior door to Pro Tools, and it is. I tried to use Logic for many many years. I've tried to use. I've always gone over to Logic. I tried to use Logic. It's not as good as Pro Tools. And there'll be people who will say in the comments that Logic is better than Pro Tools. And it's not. And I can tell you now it's not. Um, Logic Logic um, has some cool features. And it's it's good for um, doing productions and stuff like that. Brilliant. It's got a load of great um, kind of stock, um, stock library and stock bits and plugins and whatnot instruments um that are probably better than pro tools but when it comes to mixing when it comes to mastering when it comes to the functionality of a daw um pro tools wins every time and I'm, i've not yet seen a door that rivals pro tools for things like um the way you can edit the way you can zoom the way the, the how detailed the waveforms are things like that they're not like that in Logic. Um, I've tried Cubase. Cubase I was on for a couple of years uh, in the in the SX3 days, a uh, long time ago. Um, you know, I've used recently, I've used pretty much every door, had a look at them and, you know, tried the demos out and things like that. Um, you know, I've got most of the DAWs because I, I, I test um, plugins on, on different DAWs um to test compatibility so i have all these all these doors already um installed on on another computer I, I would never actually use them on this setup but i've got them so i've used them and um you know a, 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 a daw like fruity loops it gets a bad rap because there's industry professionals that go ah, fruity loops for kids it's not i can tell you now 
kids use it because it's easy, but you can produce some, honestly, you can produce some amazing stuff on Fruity Loops. Um, the kind of, I guess the way that people look at things is Logic and Pro Tools up in the high end. You could maybe throw in kind of Cubase and Studio One just below that tier. And then you've got things like Reason and Fruity Loops, which are kind of um, people people automatically think and discard as like these uh, kind of the kids' doors. And they're not. They're, they're really good. And you can produce great music on them. You, you wouldn't want to mix and you wouldn't want to master on them. But as production doors they're brilliant and there's a lot of really good um doors out there that are like uad have come up with one luna yeah and and it's all right but it's in the early days it's not going to rival pro tools it's not going to do anything that's going to rival any of the big boys but it's there and it has some unique uses um and over a period of time it will be an all right door um Currently, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't go near it because um, not that it's got too many bugs. It's got, it's in the early days of development, even, even being a year old, you know, there's still a lot to do on there. Um, I couldn't do everything. I couldn't just go, oh yeah, let's just drop Pro Tools and start using Luna because it's like, oh, I can't do that. I've got to go back to Pro Tools. So I might as well just stay on Pro Tools. Um so yeah, I mean, everybody's going to have a difference of opinion here, and let's face it, right? When someone says what's the best door, you say your door. It's like when someone says what's the best speakers. They're the best speakers. That's why I got them. You know, Nick will tell you that the Arcuus are the best speakers because that's why he's got them. Everybody says the one that they have. Um, so yeah, what's the best DAW? To be honest, it's the one that you know the best, the one that you can use the best. Um, for me, the best, best DAW to use for me is, uh, is Pro Tools. And that will continue to be the case for many, many, many years until I've spent probably a hundred thousand pound with them over the course of the next 30 years. Honestly, it's, it's a rip off, but it's a rip off I can't get away from. And, you know, I don't mind that because from a business perspective, it's not, it's not that big a deal, but, um, as an artist, you'd feel that in your pocket every month, wouldn't you? 